Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time there are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. In our today's lesson, I thought of sharing with you as you prepare for your final exam uh, some logarithm equations under mathematics n2 and also if you are working on your mathematics n3 this is also a good foundation for you so i hope this will actually uh, make some sense so let us look at this uh, ex typical exam question um, whereby they wanted you to solve for x and these are log equations now this is not a complicated uh, equation. It just needs you to focus carefully and be able to see where the examiner is trying to trick you. Now, let us look at the first things first. The first part that can actually assist you is to use your calculator so that you can actually see where this is leading. What you need to do, you first ask yourself, what is log 3 of 27? Now, log 27 in base 3 it gives you a 3 so which means um, of course you need to show us how the 3 came about because you will lose marks if you just come out to say this is a 3 there in which that's what we're going to prove and then the log 1 over 4 in base 4 so if I've got 1 over 4 there you can see that it's giving me a minus 1 and I have to prove that this is minus 1. So with the calculator, I'm going to come back to this stage. There is a stage here that I must have. But now with the calculator, you saw that it is actually saying I can have log base x of 16 plus that one was a 3 minus 1 is equal to a 6. So you can see that already you have got uh, much of this whereby it becomes even simpler to, to, to solve that. But now just to ensure that you don't lose marks, you need to show up where, where the 3 is coming from and then where the minus 1 is coming from. Now using your laws of logarithms, you remember you have a law which says log in base A of A when the base and the number are the same it gives you a 1. So that's what you need to try to use in these two uh, numbers. For example, if you are using, in this case, log base 3 of 27 now is equal to, with a calculator, you can actually express 27 in terms of 3. Now, 27, if you say 3 to the power 3, you can see that this is 27. So you're going to have log in base 3 of 3 to the power of 3. You see that? And also, there is another law you use which says if you are given log, uh, it can be in base A of B to the power of X there is equal to what happens is the x which is a power will go before the log such that it will become x there and you have got log b that is remember in base a so you can have that law which is what we're going to use here this particular three will drop such that it becomes, in this case, 3 log base 3 of 3. 
so that this log base 3 of 3 will give you 3 times it multiplies is 3 times 1 which is equal to a 3 don't just write 3 1 because it will be like 31 so it's 3 times there is a multiplication sign in between there so that is where the first 3 was coming from now the next thing you have to ask yourself so you can actually write that if I can write it it will be log base x of 16 plus we can have 3 log base 3 of 3 I think that then minus the next part is this one for log base 4 of 1 over 4 now if you remember in um, with exponents if you are given for example um, if I'm given a to the power minus 1 it is equal to 1 over a these are the laws of exponents or this works the same to say if I'm given 1 over a it works out if I'm to take this exponent to the top I mean the, the, the number a to the top it will become a now to remove the division sign you put a negative 1 so this is also one of the laws of exponents which is similarly if I want to take the 4 to the top and reveal and remove that uh, division line it will become log in base 4 of 4 to the power negative 1 I, mean, I hope you're following then after that I use the same rule I used here whereby the negative 1 will drop before the log such that I will have minus 1 dropping there like that and then you will have log base 4 of 4 now again the log and the base are the same if they are the same then it will be minus 1 times a 1 which becomes minus a 1 that is where this particular minus 1 is coming from. So now in this case, if you were to uh, write it down, you are going to write down as minus bracket. Actually, you are having minus with the bracket, which is very important now. You can see that there is, a, there is this particular negative. So it's minus bracket minus log 4 of 4 which is equal to 6 so this makes me come here and say minus and minus there it will become minus and minus 1 so when I now solve it I will have log base x of 16 then I will have plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 6 now 3 plus 1 is 4, so I will have log base x of 16 is equal to, now I need to take these two numbers to the other side, remember it's a 4, and then when they jump the sign they become minus 4, so it will be 6 minus 4. Then with that, what I have, 6 minus 4, will be a 2, so I will have log in base x of 16 is equal to a 2 so at this stage you are then in a position to apply the next rule in logarithms and that particular rule that you must apply in logs it says if i can write it also on the other side this rule says if you are given log in base a of x is equal to b like that so it says that particular base a you write as a then this becomes the power which is a to the power b is equal to that number which is your x so similarly if we can follow this same method 
who are going to have our a in this case is our x so i'm going to say x our 2 which is our b then which is x to the power of 2 is equal to and then our number which is 16 that's how this simplifies from the lot to exponents and then how do you solve it like this there are many ways you can solve it but for now you can i mean if you're solving for x you can say x squared you put a square root is equal to this is very important to say plus or minus square root of 16 so the 2 plus or minus is important such that what you have you have got x is equal to plus or minus 4 that is one way that you could have solved it the second way you could have done it it was x squared is equal to 16 you take 16 to the other side it will be x squared remember 16 is minus 4 squared is equal to 0 now x squared minus 4 squared is a difference of 2 squares which is x minus 4 and x plus 4 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 4 so that is how you could have done it also alternatively you could have used your laws of exponents uh, to say x squared is equal to 16 and then in this particular case it means in this it's x squared is equal to now 16 is 4 squared now when you have done that if the powers are the same you can see the power there is the same as that power there therefore x is equal to 4 but this one unfortunately will make you lose the value for the negative it will only have the value for the positive so that is the only uh, shortcoming of this one because the answer is either positive or negative now when you have got your two answers especially when you've got now this plus or minus 4 for you to be able to ensure that you have got the right answer you need to go back to your original question and try to prove your answer so now if i can remove that so what you need to do you have to take your calculator where there is x in this case where we have our x here we are going to put remember we have got plus or minus 4 so that's what we are going to use so if i can take the calculator now and i now start with the positive one so it's low and then my base being positive 4 of 16 plus log base 3 of 27 minus log 4 of 1 over 4 so now when I've done that it must give me equal to 6 so the first one is correct you can see that the positive one is correct then you have to play back and change now from positive you put a negative 4 but already it's trying to tell you there is no base of a negative so if you say equal to it will give you an error meaning the only possible value of x there is 4 so which means if you did it in this particular version of x squared is equal to 6 if you did it like that you're going to be correct without having a plus or minus now if you did the two versions which gives you two answers you're going to say therefore x is equal to 4 and then and x is not equal to 4 and then it says um, you can choose uh, to say um, uh, not a, not a, a not no base of a negative here you can say no negative base 
sometimes you can say uh, here you can say this is undefined you know because it is not um, it's not the answer so that is how you can then justify that your answer was just x is equal to 4 so I hope this was a benefit to you when we we're looking at some log equations and if you want to be notified every time we post these videos I will encourage you to subscribe to our channel as well as press the notification sign so that you can be notified or you activate it so that you can be notified every time we, we add a new video or you can also press our like button so that um, you will always see some of our videos every time they will be showing up when we post them thank you I hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as I said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the textbook as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you